Bodies Up YouTube is and lovers of budget cars and bikes. Welcome back to what may be the second part of this camper van conversion series. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this one because we are basically going to do a massive change. Today is the day we drive it all the way to Plymouth and we change everything externally. Internally, I've done absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, basically, we'll open up the door. Nothing very much has gone on. It's got the original seat from the first video. There is crap everywhere. New set of wheels. So that's about it. Oh, and we put in a window as well. I put in a side window, a tinted window last week. Great bunch of guys from Plymouth Windscreens and Van Windows. They helped me out with that. I'll put a link in the description to those guys. But as I said, this will be the last time you see this van in this livery, as it were. I have been going around getting it prepared, as it were, to change the colour by basically just sanding off any stone chips, treating it with rust treatment stuff from, uh, I think it was from Hammerite, a little pot of, uh, I'll show you actually, it might make things easier. This stuff, this is what I use, Cure Rust, basically. It seems to work very well. I've used it a few times. I've taken the door cards off as well because I want them to cut in with this new paint all the way up to here. Plus, I had a couple of issues with the door card and I've still got an with that window so it seemed easier just to leave them off and as I said we will be doing a huge change today is the day that we do a color change on the van now what are we going to do I'm going to take a risk basically for you guys I'm taking a huge risk for the channel by doing a Raptor paint job because it is far cheaper than doing a full respray as I'm sure you know I mean to respray this van would probably cost anywhere between three to five thousand pounds depending on the color the amount of coats the work involved etc etc now bear in mind we have got to get the guys to to take out this dent here, do that rust over there. They're gonna have to sand back all these little bits that I've treated, these kind of little rust spots as it were. All these little black marks here are actually rust spots, including that one there. And I found a couple more by the window here and up in this window here, just little bits like that. They've got to sand all of this back. The worst of it being here, which I've already showed you, I've sanded all that up. This is, I've just cleaned off loads of bird crap, basically. There's the outside of the window. And as we come down here, there's some more little spots here that I've treated with rust cure or cure rust as it were and they've got to do all that and there's another little dent just on that front wing there as well they're going to do all of that ah, and the other one which is right there which I didn't notice when I bought the van but I've tried to bash this out as much as I can and I treated it with rust they're going to straighten that out for me as well so bearing in mind let's get back out of here bearing in mind they're going to get rid of all those dents all that rust fill it sand it primer it and then basically put a couple of coats of raptor paint on there i won't reveal the color just yet we'll do that later on in the video because we're going to set you up in the cab i'll drive down to plymouth we'll have a chat on the way about what's happening we'll pull up outside and we'll have a little chat with the guys there as well but suffice to say the next time you see this van on the outside at least it will be completely transformed there's a few tiny little niggling things that i need to do i have resprayed the wiper arms as you can see here and put some new wiper blades on that's about as much as i've done and i've got to do something with this but i'm might wait until the van comes back because this doesn't sit very well and it's annoying me so I might have to just take the whole thing off see if I can epoxy it back in a little bit better and one of the door cards is a little bit moody as well anyway I digress this is off to paint today and as I said I'm taking a huge risk for you guys because a normal paint job would be three to five thousand pounds depending on the color and the spec if you want two-tone etc etc it's going to be far less it's going to be less than half that price basically to put Raptor paint on here the beauty of Raptor paint of course if you don't know is it'll never scratch it'll never chip there'll be no dramas it's not like normal lacquered paint it's kind of a bed liner almost but depending on how you lay it on basically with the gun you get either a rough texture or a smooth texture we're going for the smooth texture it, i'll let you into a secret it's not going to be silver <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a lot easier of course but we are I have chosen the color the color was a real quandary for me whether to do I was going to do white here and then blue or white and gold or green I've decided to do one color so I'll let you into that but I won't tell you the color suffice to say it won't look silver anyway I will talk to you more about the Raptor process as we drive over to Plymouth and then we'll pull up outside and I'll introduce you to the guys if I can if they'll go on camera and uh, we'll go from there so let's jump in and head off to Plymouth so welcome back to the drive along videos it were when I try to explain to you exactly what Raptor paint is. It's essentially a urethane paint kind of protection system. In uh, It was kind of designed really for putting onto the beds of trucks, as in flatbed trucks and stuff like that. It was actually designed to put onto there to protect the metalwork underneath. It was designed originally from what I've read to be a kind of almost rubberized paint whereby when anything, if you threw something in the back of your truck, shall we say, after you laid this paint down, 
it would almost protect it in the respect that it would bounce off this paint as opposed to gouge into the paint, um, therefore leaving a dent. That was the original design kind of spec on it. I hope that kind of makes some kind of sense and that's what I've been reading about. But obviously people do tend to experiment with these kind of things and there's a huge scene now with this Raptor paint where people just basically put it on pretty much any car or van or vehicle they like. It's been used on aeroplanes, it's been used on tractors, motorcycles, vans, cars, all sorts of things. And the more it's used, the more people find out about it, the more people People kind of as I said experiment with it people are now tending to use a clear coat over it whereby a year ago if you'd have asked if you can put clear coat over Raptor people would have said no no it's not possible but now there is a way apparently I'm not sure if it's something that I would do I've gone for a satin look basically because if you go for the matte look that's very nice it's very cool etc etc but I wanted a little bit of a shine so and I had a quick chat with the guys and they said look if you go for the satin look you'll get a tiny bit of a shine but it will still kind of almost look matte which I think is going to look just perfect for my needs as with anything obviously when you're painting an entire vehicle you do need to get it all sanded down get all the old paint off or get at least get all the old lacquer clear coat off before you start trying to lay on any kind of paint with Hammerite of course in an aerosol you can just pretty much lay on it on anything but it won't last you know if you want your paint to last then you need to sand off and prepare the area which is exactly what these guys are going to do I'm going to drop in obviously some videos of them doing the entire project and then we'll cut back in and I'll tell you well I'll show you exactly what's happened to the van it's going to be an amazing transformation I'm really hoping you're going to enjoy it and I'm really hoping you're going to like the color I chose and the way it's come out but uh, we're on our way there basically now to get it done so it's all quite exciting or a little bit nerve-wracking if I'm honest now obviously price wise this is going to be a huge amount cheaper than if you were going to go for a whole respray on your van I've been in touch with a few people and they've said that they would want anywhere between say five to seven grand to respray an entire van you know professionally properly with clear coat lacquer all that kind of good stuff um, and this isn't going to cost anywhere near that you'd be looking somewhere between depending on the van effect effectively it depends on the condition of your van if you take a right old banger in there that needs some weldings needs some panel beating needs some rust repair needs some filler that kind of stuff then obviously you're going to pay a little bit more if you take in a very very straight van that just needs sanding and painting you're obviously going to pay a bit less so in that respect I think you'd be looking at about maybe two grand if you need some work done maybe budget for two and a half grand but it's still less than half the price of a full respray in a traditional sense one of the other added bonuses of getting a Raptor paint job as opposed to a standard kind of traditional paint job is the protection you're afforded as well. According to the websites, when you are looking to buy some Raptor paint, it is sun resistant as in UV resistant, so it won't fade or chalk in the sun, which is a huge bonus obviously, because as I'm sure you know, red paint for an example, if you Raptor painted your car in red, then it shouldn't, like a traditional paint job would, start uh, peeling, start lacquer peeling, and start fading in the sun. The Raptor is UV resistant, so it shouldn't fade in the sun, which is a huge bonus if you decide, as I said, to go for, for a red, then that's a nice little option to know that you've got there. And you can pick pretty much any color you like because Raptor paint is now tintable. It used to just come in a big black box, as in for bed liners, obviously. Now, there are a myriad of tints that you can have out there. If you can imagine a color, you can pretty much have it, and you can have it too toned now I did consider having my van two toned if you've been following me on Instagram and my Facebook page and all that kind of stuff you'll know I put some pictures out there because I was considering a two tone affair because I didn't know enough about Raptor paint I decided to go for a block color this time around and see how it comes out and then basically decide on a two-tone paint maybe for the next one or for the next vehicle generally speaking but for this time I've gone for a block color but you can have as I said a two-tone caravan camper van kind of look if you want to the guys actually quoted me the same price for a block color as they did for a two-tone even though it's more masking which I think is incredible value as I said if you can get it done for say two and a half grand you could take your old banger t4 in there have it two-toned in that beautiful kind of like white on the upper section and a nice blue or green on the lower section for a couple what, two and a half grand you can't argue with that that's amazing value I think and as I said it won't fade in the Sun it's scratch resistant it's knock resistant I wouldn't say it's damage resistant but it's far more resistant to damage than a normal paint job would be if someone comes past you with a tro shopping trolley in Tesco's they're not gonna basically put a great big scratch down the side of your door unless they're really going at some speed and they're intending to do that because it's incredibly resistant and durable
comfortable and tough paint, you know. But if you go for the smooth option, then obviously it looks far more like a traditional paint job would. Because don't consider Raptor paint to be that traditional kind of stuff that they put on bed liners, uh, on the flatbed trucks and stuff like that. You can have it that way. You can have it the rough look, and obviously that will be far more durable. But what people are tending to do on cars now, and what I'm going for, is the smooth look. I think it denotes which gun you use and which spray you decide to use, how it comes out of the gun. It basically affects how smooth it looks on the van. But we'll get into that. Once the van's painted, I'll show you all around it and show you what the difference is. And you've probably seen some pictures of a rough kind of Raptor job and we'll show you the smooth Raptor on this van once it's done. I mean, as I said, it is a bit daunting. I've never done it. I've not actually physically seen a camper van with this stuff on it. I don't know much about the company, P&M Paint, but they seem like a lovely bunch of guys and they seem to know what they're talking about. And I've done a bit of research. I'm on the Raptor paint page on Facebook as well and I've asked a few questions there so basically we're going to take a chance we're going to take a bit of a gamble we are going to take it in there today and have it absolutely transformed and hopefully by the time you see the end of this video it'll all be done and we can talk about was it worth it the value that you get from doing this you know would I do it again etc etc anyway we're going to pull into Plymouth in a minute and I'll cut back in uh, just before we drop the van off you just love it when people drive along at 20 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone like it's not bad enough that it's a 30 mile an hour zone they got to drive at 20 miles an hour just to be super safe anyway we are just about here guys at pnm paint in plimpton on the outskirts of plymouth city center so we're going to just pull in here in a second hand the van over to the guys and hopefully pick it up in under a week and it will be utterly and totally and forever transformed. So we'll cut back in when it's done and I'll give you a massive overview of everything they've done, how it looks and what I think of it all. So cut back in in a minute. It's all so exciting.
So, as you can see, guys, the van is back from paint. It's actually about two months since we cut off when I first turned up at the paint shop to drop this off. There's been various reasons for that. They wanted 28 days. Well, they wanted me to wait 28 days for the paint to uh, cure, so they say. I'm not entirely sure it needed quite that long, but whatever, and I did that. And then I had to take it back in because they'd missed out a little section on the inside of this sliding door just over there. They said they thought I was going to carpet that. I'm not sure how they thought I was going to carpet the outside of a van, but... It is what it is. I took it back in. They did that. And then over the next three or four weeks, bits started falling off. I kid you not. On the inside of the doors where they just hadn't prepared it. They hadn't sanded it back enough for the paint to adhere to it. And there was at least half a dozen patches and on the roof as well that had to go back in to have redone again. And I've just got the van back now. So it's getting on for two months since we last kind of saw this van in its silver livery, as it were. But it's back. And I think you'll agree. The colour is just stunning. I love this colour. It's not actually... 100% the colour I chose. I chose Acapulco blue, but I think you'll agree that does look stunning as a colour. I really, really am so happy with the colour. Let's get around the back a sec. Now, I've just washed it because it's just come back down the motorway and it's the end of December and everything is covered in salt and crap and I didn't want to show you the van in its dirty form as it were, but as I said, I think you'll agree this van just looks stunning now. Um, the window's in, the rear lights are in, the front lights are in. Hopefully you've seen the videos on those, but this is just... Oh, it's, I'm really, really happy actually, I've got to say, but but there was some things, as I said, that, well, confused me slightly and disappointed me slightly as well, which is a shame. But, uh, you know, this is my first time doing the whole Raptor process thing. And I'm not sure I'd do it again, if I'm honest. I'm going to cover this whole thing in the last video for this. When we take it for a little drive and I give you my kind of final thoughts on doing a transporter T5 conversion and painting it, Raptor painting it, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to give you my final thoughts on all of that and let you know exactly what I feel about the whole kind of process as it were but suffice to say I love the colour I'm a bit disappointed it's taken two months to get it to a stage where it's 95 percent the way I wanted it to be there's still a couple of little bits that I'm not massively happy with which I've got to deal with and part of that is I don't know if it will show up on here yeah you can just see in there look where they haven't put enough adhesion promoter on the door handles it's actually far more prominent excuse me a second guys it's actually far more prominent on this sliding door handle here as you can see it's just literally falling off and a bit over there as well it's just a simple case that they didn't put enough adhesion promoter on the plastic for it to kind of adhere to the car I guess in that respect so that's something I've got to deal with and it's a bit disappointing sorry for all this running around guys it's bloody freezing but I wanted to get this video out before Christmas for you if possible because I may not do another video now until the new year I just want a little bit of a rest if I'm honest but we have been going along you may be able to see these seat covers as well they're in the background there there's a whole video coming on those there's a video coming on these headlights as well which I'm hoping you're going to watch that is spectacular and a video on the rear lights as well and we've got all the furniture in the back we've got some upholstery coming as well we've probably got a, I would say another two to three videos maybe four videos coming on stuff that we're putting into this van and I'll show you how to do it, that kind of stuff. We've got some wiring to do, but effectively the paintwork is done. I'd love to see your comments on what you feel about the colour, the Raptor process, what you feel about the bits that they've missed that I've mentioned. But uh, generally speaking, I'm really happy. The only thing I would say is choose your paint shop. Go to somebody who's used to doing Raptor paint because I get the feeling as lovely as these guys were and they tried their best, bless them. They just skipped a couple of steps. It's taken a couple of months to get it all back to the way I wanted it to be and the way it should be there's still some things I've got to do it's not 100% it's as simple as that but it was relatively cheap I think it ended up costing me around about 1500 quid but bear in mind also we took the dents out we took all the rust spots out you remember there was rust in these arches well in the rear near side arch that was completely battered and there was rust spots on the inside of both doors there was a dent in that wing there was a dent in this wing they got rid of all of that so bless them you know at the end of the day they did a bloody amazing job for that kind of money you know and I'm super happy with the colour again refer back to the first couple of videos and you'll see how this was when it was silver and how it looks now and I think you'll agree it's just night and day this has just turned out so so nicely I'm so happy and I hope you guys have enjoyed this little journey up to this point here as I said we've probably got another three or four videos to come on various kind of aftermarket things we're fitting to this van and maybe there'll be some more by the time we get to the end of it because as I'm sure you know if you have a T5 if you've ever done a T5 if you think it'll get getting one the parts accessories kind of list is endless and you can just go on and on and on and on spending money on one of these kind of vans 
But I hope this has been of some kind of insight into the whole Raptor paint job process for you guys if you're thinking about doing it. This would have cost, I did ask them how much it would have cost to do it uh, if it had been kind of a retail price. And it would have been somewhere between 2000 and 2300 um, to do it as it was, covered in rust with a few dents and the rear arch rusted out. And I hope you'll see the way they treated that, obviously, in the first, second part of this video. If you go back to that, um, it would have cost maximum two, three, two, four, something like that. I only paid 1500 quid. I can't complain too much. I think it's turned out beautifully. Thoughts, please, in the comment section underneath. If you haven't subscribed and you want to see how we progress with this, please consider subscribing. Give the video a thumbs up, a like and a share, all that kind of good stuff as well. It really helps. Follow me on Instagram as well because we post pictures of what we're up to way before the videos come out. So if you want sneak peeks, that kind of stuff, then make sure you follow me on Instagram. We've got a Facebook page as well. So that's it for the Raptor painting. I will give you my final, final thoughts on this when we are ready to kind of decide what we're going to do with this van. And, you know, I've lived with this Raptor for a few more weeks. It's going to be springtime, I would think. So another two or three months, I'll give you my absolute final thoughts on whether I think it's worth it, whether you should do it, and would I do it again kind of thing. But uh, so far, the only advice I'd give you is use somebody who's used to using Raptor, somebody you can rely on, pay you a little bit more, because the other thing that uh, they did admit is they actually didn't use branded Raptor paint, not the stuff that comes in those long thing bottles they use something called rc which i did a little bit of research on that and from what i gather it's for a remote control kind of projects and it is a texture and it is a tough bed liner type of paint but it's not the raptor which had i known that before perhaps i would have gone somewhere that only deals with branded raptor paint maybe that would have worked out better but hey ho it is what it is it looks stunning i'm 98 percent happy with it and i'd really like to hear your feedback on this guys uh, let me know what you feel and don't forget to as i said subscribe and we'll catch up again on the next video which should be two or three weeks from now i should think have a great christmas have a fantastic new year and we'll catch up real soon all right guys take care thanks for watching